Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Stephen Sullivan. Welcome back. Memorial Day Monday and the forecast looking like we're going to have temperatures in the 50s. So a little bit below average for this time of year. We're also dealing with the clouds and some scattered showers uh, as we head into the morning and afternoon. And those winds are going to stay consistent out of the north, gusting between 30, 40 miles per hour, perhaps a gust up to 45 in some locations. So it's not your ideal Memorial Day forecast, but uh, it's not the worst. It's not anything that will cancel any plans over. And taking a look at the weather headlines is again, we do have scattered showers around today. Cloudy, mild temps, below average a little bit, and then clearing and warming as we head into the middle of the work week, primarily Wednesday and Thursday. Taking a look at the satellite and radar, you'll notice most of the action off to the west and to the south of our viewing area. We have most of the rain off to the south along I-90, and we do have some clouds still in the Great Falls Helena area as it's been consistently showering near, Great, uh, near Helena for the morning hours. We even have some clearing up near the High Line at the moment. Current temperatures right now mostly in the 40s and low 50s, depending on your location. 48 for your high in Great Falls and Helena, 43 in Cut Bank. We're at 52 in areas like Fort Benton, Chinook, 53 in Malta. Uh, we're at 49 in Haver and then 48 degrees as we head over towards Glasgow. And as far as our high temperatures for today are concerned, going to be mostly in the 50s and 60s. A little bit of a temperature disparity from west to east today, uh, depending on your location. So Cut Bank, once again, coolest temperatures, 52, 57 in Great Falls, 54 in Helena, as well as Lewistown. 68 as we head up towards Haver and 62 in Hayes and 70 degrees where we have our warmest air once again in Glasgow and the rest of Valley County. Taking a look at future track, let's bring you through the rest of the day here. As we head into the morning, you can see again, most of this activity is gonna be along the I-90 corridor, uh, rain and even some upper elevation snow shower, of course, uh, depending on how high up you are, uh, determining what type of precipitation you're gonna get. And you'll see these reemergence of some scattered showers as we head into the later part of your day and your evening tonight and into tomorrow as well. And so we'll be dealing with this rain across much of our area. High line a little bit uh, more on the drier side as we head into the later part of tonight. And you'll notice the winds, primarily the wind direction coming out of the north. That's part of the reason that's going to help temperatures stay a little bit on the cooler side, a little bit below average as we head into today. And the winds uh, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour initially for the morning and afternoon, but dying down to some 10 to 20 mile an hour gusts as we head into the later part of tonight. Does prompt a lake wind advisory though in effect for Fort Peck Lake until midnight tonight. So if you're out in eastern Montana today enjoying Memorial Day on the lake, do keep that uh, in the back of your head there that we will have breezy conditions not only today, but we'll be a little bit breezy tonight. Not quite as windy as the afternoon and some scattered showers still in place for us. And as we head towards tomorrow, we'll have temperatures mostly in the 60s widespread across the north central part of the state. Cloudy to start, some clearing likely into the afternoon and taking a look at the Great Falls in Helena, three to seven day forecast, 57 for your high today, 63 tomorrow and 68 on Wednesday. That warming trend continues all the way into Thursday, the end of the week and the weekend with temperatures in the 70s. We got a little bit above average for this time of year. And then taking a look at Helena, again, we have the shower opportunities today. Uh, we have the clouds in place today and early tomorrow. And then the clearing happens for the middle of the seven day forecast, Wednesday and Thursday. And then it looks like we're going to have a return to clouds and a chance for some showers with temperatures near 70 degrees for the weekend.